First, the logical network diagram. We're going to go ahead and start with our globalmantics.com domain triangle. Triangle is sort of a standard for our domain. Add in our Chicago organizational unit. We're going to include the containers for all of our department's users, each department. Remember, we have three departments and one container for our PCs, our clients. Let's get working. We're going to start off here in our settings for our network templates. We'll see that we have basic network diagrams, detailed network diagrams, website maps, but the one we want, rack diagrams, we're going to use that later, is the Active Directory. Let's go ahead and use that template. And I'm actually going to pull this back over. Again, to try and save a little room for us, conserve on some space. And you'll see we have three tabs. Active Directory Site, Exchange Objects. A lot of familiar looking stuff in there, huh? But the one we're going to start with, and there's a 3D domain shape, but we're going to start very simply. We're going to keep this diagram simple. We're going to grab the 2D domain shape, our triangle. And what the heck, I'm going to make it nice and big. I'm going to go ahead and name it for our domain, which of course is globalmantics.com. And I'm even going to make it bigger so that we can actually read it. And let's go ahead to our Active Directory objects. We are going to start with the organizational unit. And this is going to be Global Mantics Chicago. And I want to make it bigger. What the heck, we're going to use the whole page. We might as well make this nice and big. We'll make the text bigger. How about 10? Yeah, that'll work. We're going to add our containers. We're going to go ahead and create four containers. We'll have one, two, three, four. Remember, you got to be aware of what's selected. I'm going to align these and I'm going to distribute them evenly. And I'll start with the first one. First one, we're going to go ahead and add our computers. But just because we have some fun things in here, let's go ahead and use. There it is. Went right past it. I'm going to add that to this container. And at Global Mantics. Chicago, we have 85 PCs. And the container will be for all of our computers. And actually, let's go ahead and join these two together. Move on over here. Now I have I'm going to put my users on here. And each one of these is going to be for the different departments. And the operations department has 49 users. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other two. Wait right there for me. All right, there we go. Now, of course, we have to connect them together. And we can go to, uh, it must be this one. There's a directory connector here. So let's go ahead and let's give that a shot. And you'll see that we can go ahead and connect. But that's kind of a mess. It's kind of convoluted. What I'm going to do is pull out connectors. Remember this? And I'm going to try the multi-tree square. This one, I love this one. 
Go ahead and swing that there. Connect that to the global mantics. Take this one. Connect it. Connect it. You're saying, what about the other two? We'll grab this handle. And this handle like that. Now, if I go ahead here and send it to back, remember, that goes all the way back down. What we want to do instead is go to Shape, Order, and just send backward. Actually, we'll probably need to pull these forward. Eventually, we'll get them all there. And that is our logical network diagram. Now, by no means am I saying that this is the only way to go ahead and set up your domains like this. Uh, as we know, there are many different situations, all kinds of different configurations. I'm just showing you the tools, kind of showing you where everything is over here. This is just the one that we want for Global Mantic Chicago. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And we'll take a look at our next drawing. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.